Rose and also an entrepreneur. I'm the founder of Nello Far Hijab, that is, um, which is now only known uh, as N uh, Nilo Far. And I started my business when I was 18 years old. So when I um, venture into, when I stepped into the entertainment industry, which is 10 years ago, I was already doing this uh, Lofa Hills shoe business and that has continued to a supplement drink business and Nalufar hijab uh, was conceptualized back in 2014 September and now it has been almost six years we're running with the business earlier last year we have sold more than 10 million pieces of hijab the past five years and that is the biggest achievement for me and the team for Nalufar hijab most of the time the inspiration came when I travel or it could also be from things that happen in my life um, and I will sort of like share the ideas with my team with my creative team and they will visualize the idea into mood boards and and uh, storytelling and once we, we kind of have the bit of pieces of everything we will sit down and discuss and we'll brainstorm and expand the business uh, sorry expand the idea into a proper creative um, uh, planning instagram account probably back in 2012 and when i joined the instagram account um the idea was only to follow the trend and i had no idea that now it's such a big deal that it has become like part of my portfolio to my clients to my even for my business and also for my for my career especially now like i'm trying to uh venture into this uh, fashion and beauty industry international in on international level so instagram plays a very big role you know, one of the criteria is that you have to have, you know, um, good um, influence and big influence. So, so that's why um, people actually really they really invest, they really spend, they really curate their um, social media content so that it will reflect such a good um, portfolio for them. And uh, I remember back in 2014 when I decided to put to put on the hijab my Instagram followers started to quadruple just in two weeks time. It was only 400,000 followers back then. Then, and it was just like, since I, since the day I put on the hijab, it started to like, I, I started to get more and more and more following um, rapidly. And uh, last year I was the most followed person in Malaysia. It has to be content with substance not just content for the sake of posting your selfies and nice clothes and nice OTD. You have to have a purpose and the message behind every posting is very important. Last time when I first started my career in this system industry in Malaysia, we really rely on media, on magazines, on newspapers, on TV, on radio to brand ourselves, to promote ourselves. But now we are very lucky because with social media, you you can sort of you know um, make a social media appearance yourself anytime you want or everywhere you are, and um, that's a plus point for all of us. One, of course, to brand yourself, to have to create a portfolio instead of you, you sort of like the way you post it, what you share, how you. Um, tell your story is part of your branding and then secondly i think for my business when i started my nello for hijab five six years ago i had zero marketing cost for the first year there's no investment in marketing there's no there's zero cost for any tv promotion anything at all it was it was nothing from us it was mainly instagram 100 percent instagram uh, and we managed to get 50 million um, ringgit in sales uh, in one year time so that's like a huge huge achievement i would say that we try from instagram itself and i and of course uh instagram so instagram connects you with every everyone from different part of the world and uh, last time I think that we have to stay in touch send letters and make calls and send emails exchange you know that kind of way but nowadays 
by sharing your stories and posting your photos your friends your um, connections from different part of the world that has different time zones they can connect with you from your posting from your stories and you and when, when they dm you personally or they comment on your post that will sort of like strengthen the bonding and that is really i think a plus point for all of us to stay connected to strengthen the bonding to make our to make me feel to make ourselves feel closer to to, the, you know, to these people from that are far from us i have managed to expand my network my connection just through instagram and by staying in contact with them through instagram i managed to you know know, know more people from 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 around the world wow okay i love learning languages i want to speak my target my dream is to speak at least seven different languages um i want to speak thai chinese uh, arabic spanish italian french and malay of course english uh, i think once i'm done with what i'm doing right now with fashion beauty in my career and also if i can take a back seat with my business i want to focus on these short courses i want to take classes i want to go you know i want to learn languages language is like a door for us to learn other culture get to know other people that don't who don't speak our language so if i know all these languages just imagine how crazy it will be i get to speak to italian people when i go to italy i get to speak to spanish people when i go to spain or america and um that will be something else so i want i want that that's my that's one of my dreams uh professionally i right now i'm planning to get into indonesia i want to try i've been hosting tv this famous tv host in malaysia for the past seven years i want to try to do the same in indonesia i really hope that there's a, there's a space for me um to to make to make it there i'm trying to like slowly make my way to to this fashion and beauty industry internationally so i've signed with this agency in paris uh, and i really hope that i give myself three years for this starting early this year um, the clock is ticking so hopefully in the next next two years i could be part of myself and i will achieve something big in this fashion and beauty industry whenever i travel I'll get puffy, dehydrated, and my skin will won't absorb um, the foundation, especially makeup, that well. So it will look very patchy. So what I what I would do is that I will take Wingcrust shot and green juice, and I before and the night before. So and also before I fly, just to make sure that my internal system is um, it will get the the best fuel to get through the whole traveling process so it works for me and i think it will work with you guys you too mm. upcoming project i would say uh, launching my new my new branding for nanofar that is very interesting very exciting nanofar is very simple very straightforward minimalist but what i'm trying to do right now is that i'm trying to mix street style i mean street style that map that will match the, the mass audience so a, a touch of street style in every design that we will do yeah and also i'll be hosting this one new show the first premium show uh, for astro indonesia and in that show i'll be interviewing all the a-lister from uh, the sport uh, industry to business industry and also to the industry so i think it'll be fun i wish i could skip this question to be honest i can't mention one it's just too many i mean i gotta be fair to all of them because i'm working with almost all of them and but i mean locally of course i love Rizibu, i love rizalman i love alia b i love uh, afik m and i you know i wear them most of them almost all the time so yeah okay what do i have in my bag right now 
Oh my god. Okay, honestly, I just came back from Fendi show. And in my bag right now, I have mint, small mirror, lipstick, um, my phone, and tissue. That's all. That's all I need. 